This dot represents £1,000. The average person in the UK has a net worth of 437,000. This is how much 50 Cent has. And this is how much Elon Musk has. So what is it about these people that are no different to you? To have almost 10 billion times the average net worth in the UK. Is it the people they are around? Is it their start? Is it luck? Well, I've cracked the code. This is my net worth. It's nothing compared to the likes of Elon Musk and 50 Cent. But after doing extensive research and looking into the lives of these successful people, I've noticed a pattern. You see, many are under the misconception that to become successful requires you to win the lottery. But that's far from the truth. The likes of these people are no different to you and I. They are just human, just like us. So in this video, I'm going to go into depth into some of the traits that these successful entrepreneurs share. The things that makes them so successful and how you can replicate that. Organization. Imagine your mind as a computer. When your desktop is cluttered with too many files and folders, it's hard to find what you need and everything runs slower. Now, think about your physical space in the same way. A clean environment is like a well-organized desktop. It helps you to find clarity and focus. Start with something as simple as making your bed every morning. Think of it as like the first one of the day. A study by the National Sleep Foundation found that people who make their beds in the morning are 19% more likely to be productive during the rest of the day. It's a small task that sets the tone for a productive day. A tidy desk can lead to a tidy mind. According to research from the Princeton Neuroscience Institution, clutter can actually make it harder to focus and process information. You might wonder why some people are naturally disorganized. It's important to understand that being organized doesn't come naturally to everyone. Our brains ain't wired to remember and prepare for everything. Historically, humans lived in environments where immediate short-term tasks were more critical for survival. In today's world, we have numerous of responsibilities and long-term goals that require a different kind of preparation and organization. So take a few minutes to organize your space and notice how it boosts your productivity and reduces stress. Planning. Living in a modern world can feel like juggling too many balls at once. We have countless responsibilities and tasks and it's easy to drop the ball. That's where planning comes in. Think of planning as setting up a roadmap for your day. Without it, you're driving without direction, hoping to reach your destination by chance. Use planners, apps, or a simple to-do list to keep track of your tasks. A study from the Dominican University of California showed that people who write down their goals are 42% more likely to achieve them. Preparing for the next day can make your morning less stressful. Lay out your clothes, plan your meals, and list your priorities. It's laying out our ingredients before you start cooking. It makes the process smoother and more enjoyable. Consistency. Consistency is probably the most underrated aspects of success. No one really talks about it. It's not about making big changes overnight, but about making small consistent efforts every day. Imagine you're trying to move a mountain. If you chip away at it every day, eventually you'll see progress. And over time, you'll have moved an entire mountain. Small habits like doing your accounts at the end of each month can have a compounding effect over time. James Clear, in his book, Atomic Habits mentions that improving by 1% every day leads to being 37.78% times better after one year. Think about it, just 1% every day, consistently saving money, for instance, helped me buy my first property. It wasn't one big step, but small, steady contributions that led up. Goal setting. Goal setting is like using a GPS. If you don't know where you're going, how will you get there? At 21, I set a goal to become a millionaire. I knew I needed money, so I set specific saving goals and directed all my energy towards achieving them. Directing your energy towards specific goals helps in making significant strides. With clear goals, you have clear direction and purpose. It's about knowing what you want and being relentless in your pursuit. You shape the future with every action every decision. So set your goals, know where you're going, aim high, and 
don't stop until you get there. Your future is yours to create. Victimization is a hell of a drug. We can justify a completely irrational thought in our head and make it rational. You have no money. Oh, the world is cruel and money is evil. Oh, it's just genetics. I get fat when I eat the slightest thing. We begin to very quickly justify why a problem has occurred in our life. Almost never putting ourselves to blame. It's almost as if we can't handle the situation on our own and need an escape from it. The truth is everyone has problems, but it's how you handle them that makes the difference. I remember I remember a time when I was struggling with my job at Barclays. It felt like the whole world was against me. They put me on a PIP which is a performance improvement plan which is their way of saying I messed up. I started to feel sorry for myself thinking that life was just unfair. But then my manager sat me down and told me things happen to everyone. It's how you respond to them and how you want other people to see you as. If you were more cooperative, maybe you wouldn't be on a PIP. I decided to take ownership of my situation. I made a plan, set small goals and worked on them consistently. I found new opportunities and I began to grow both personally and professionally. By taking ownership, you empower yourself to find solutions. Understanding that everyone has the same issues helps you to feel less alone and more capable of tackling your problems. We all face struggles, but it's our approach to them that defines us. When you stop seeing yourself as a victim and start seeing yourself as the problem solver, everything changes. So there you have it. Simple habits that can lead to a significant improvement in your life. Keep your environment clean, plan ahead, stay consistent, set goals and take ownership of your problems. Remember, it's the small things that can make the biggest difference. Before you go, I have a gift for you. Over a year ago, I built an educational program that can get anyone started on property. The likes of Michael Venom Page and Arshdeep Sonny have done this program and are now on their first HMOs. And one of the best rated modules was the communication module. This is where I show you step-by-step -step on how to communicate with real estate agents and acquire your first property. I want to give you this for free. Just go over into the description and click the link where it will direct you onto my website where you can find the free video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Let's build a community. I want to give you guys as much value as possible. So if this video hits 100 likes, then I'll make a whole 45 minutes course on how to make your first £10,000 in property. See you in the next one. Peace.